Today I'm excited to uh, introduce the new feature uh, of uh, Blender Cam, which is the uh, relief uh, feature, or the bas relief. In French, it's bas relief. Um, it is essentially a representation of what you would see uh, and translated it into 3D for carving. So, let me resize the screens here. Uh, this is the camera view here. So the camera is important. And the camera is right here. You can move it. And so whatever you see in the camera, the camera itself will evaluate the distance between the object and the camera to see if it's uh, in front or after the camera. Uh, or if one object is in front of the other or not. Now, as you can see, this is a 3D scene, and the scene can take hours to uh, to complete. Uh, so don't don't worry. This is an example. You can play with the example as much as you like, but uh, it's a good place to start. Uh, also, um, if you um, if you check and you change the render engine to cycles, you will see that the depth is uh, given to the image and the composite. So this is this is important. Oh, let me see. Uh, let me just move that aside. Right. So this is important that it stays there. Um, but you could, if you get, uh, if you know how to use mist, then the mist would give sometimes better results. All right, so these settings are okay; they work right now. Uh, so let's see what happens now. The uh, camera looks at the scene and the scene has some depth and the relief let me change that to cam again the relief does a bunch of things with it and base we don't really know what it does but in the end it generates a um, a plane a plane which can be um, cut in parallel or X um, uh, strategies. So here are a few settings that are important. Now, um, for ease of calculations, um, we want to have the diameter of the ball. Uh, so usually a parallel with this would be done with the ball end. So. Uh, Let's say my diameter is uh, 3.175. And I would want, uh, as a finishing pass, five passes per radius. And if I want, uh, if you want a, a non-finishing pass, like a, a roughing pass, you could choose like three. Uh, but if you use five, it's going to uh, make the mesh uh, a little tighter, a little more. So basically, there's no point in making the mesh uh, more precise than the actual capability of the tool to cut the details. So um, that's why you set the width here. Uh, so we'll set the width to... Um, 300 by 200 and these are all millimeters and the, uh, the thickness is going to be the uh, s probably the thickness of the, your material that you want to work with it's actually going to be this th the, the depth of the cut um, so uh, like Justifications, uh, you can set it centered, centered below zero, and so wherever the mesh you want to show up. But it's going to be 
at zero zero. This is it here, zero zero zero. Um, I should use uh, top orthographic. All right. Okay. So if we uh, run this, it's going to take a little while because it has to uh, render uh, in cycles. Um, but you don't have to change it. The rendering is going to be changed itself. So here we go. Now uh, here, uh, the it's uh, working its magic right now. Uh, right, so it's actually generating a mesh from a picture that um, from information of a picture of the depth. Uh, decimating is uh, the, the mesh is pretty large so it's easy to get uh, millions of uh, vertices so uh, right now our example has a five th uh, 500,000 vertices and the decimation made it at just 89,000 vertices so much more uh, much easier to uh, handle so here's more results right so we can tell from the picture um, from the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, from the picture that um, is in the uh, uh, in in the camera perspective, uh, we can tell that it's basically our image. But it's not the same here. We don't see that it's a cube. We see that it's something. So we can fix that by just uh, rotating our rotating our cube a bit. Um, Rotating. Oh, uh, location. Rotation. Uh, still. Um, There. Oh, uh, no, we just see two faces again. Let's try to. There. Here we see three faces. And uh, so let's calculate it again. So, you know, you might have to. Making a scene can take hours, basically. So, um, let's run it again. Now the decimation takes a bit of time. You might want to turn it off uh, if you want to set up the, the scene and you might want to uh, lower the resolution in the beginning. But um, yeah, it gives um, uh, software to do this is sometimes hard to come by. Um, so this is uh, very useful. I've made uh, some um, some interesting uh, scenes with that. So it's decimating now. Now, of course, you get a, a faster rendering if you uh, choose like less passes per radius, for example. Or it takes a lot longer if you use a diameter end of uh, one millimeter.
there we go so um, let's try passes per radius to be uh, 2 and start again so it should be much faster now but it's being much faster it has less details but you don't need much detail because of course you just um, go twice per radius on a 3.175 uh, bit so you're not going to get much detail there so I hope you understand a bit more about how the uh, bar relief works or bar, bar relief uh, whatever you want to call it we're uh, trying to bring life back to uh, blender cam uh, since 2016 it was uh, sort of le left on the side but uh, we're a, a group of uh, people who are working actively on it um, so uh, the bar relief was not functional as a one button calculate press you had to uh, you use the bump map and manually uh, do the rendering and things like that so it was very complicated now the script is much more comprehensive and uh, you can play with the, the different uh, values that we have um, here um, just be careful to change just one item at a time um, uh, the decimate ratio I, I explained earlier what it does definitely decimate before um, setting it to parallel you don't want uh, millions of triangles uh, when doing a parallel calculation is going to take a long long time I'm taking I'm talking maybe hours uh, so um, keeping it in the 500,000 vertices is uh, probably a target here and um, yeah uh, you can change these things they do change um, the, the quality and the result that you have um, but you're gonna have to play with them of course these are all things uh, with less detail uh, as far as the uh, smoothness of the um, circle or, or the torus and the uh, the sphere so if you want a smooth thing you make sure that the camera um, sees smooth um, surfaces uh, all in all that's it if you have any questions just uh, leave a comment and I'll try to answer the questions you can visit us on uh, the matrix blender cam too uh, so this is a chat I'll put a link to that in the description and uh, this is an example file it's available uh, in the download of blender cam on the github so um, have a great day I hope this helps